When Bob and I retired, we were looking for an Episcopal church in the Richmond area. We lived in Wyndham, had moved to Wyndham, and we knew St. James's, but we thought we would never travel that far every Sunday. So we visited just about every church west of the boulevard, and we never felt like we found our home. And so we said, well, let's go to St. James's. And the first Sunday, everything just seemed right. The preaching, the friendliness of the people we already knew, the people we hadn't met before, ran into an old high school friend in the garage. It was just right from the very first day. And I think one of the things that was so right for me in particular is I like action and I like results. I'm a doer, <laughs> and there's a lot of doing going on here, and that just really speaks to my heart. I think the thing about St. James's and the concept of being a doer is that we all, in some way or another, are trying to walk in the way of Jesus, and we are looking out for the least of those among us wherever we think the least are, whatever of the whoever among the least call to us personally. I see results in that I see people that Nancy helps coming to church on Sunday. I also see them at the 7-Eleven. I mean, you know, I see the community coming into the church. I see people at Womankind who I would have never seen here who have an epiphany about something, who feel a spiritual call because of that event. I see the kids at the Children's Center who are getting such a good start because of things that we're doing at St. James's. I think there's such tangible, um, such a tangible impact that we're having on lives here and then lives in other communities. I haven't been on a mission only on a pilgrimage, but um, I know from talking to other friends who've been on mission trips, the impact that we've had on those people and they've had on us. So Bob and I have always pledged, we understand the importance of budgeting and the church being able to budget. But I think where it really came home for me was when I was working on Womankind, first in public relations and then as co-chair and then as chair. And I saw the impact a lean year can, could have on the vitality of such an important venture. And St. James's is full of important ventures. All of us have one or another thing that's really dear to our heart. For me, it's womankind. And it would break my heart if it faltered because it didn't have funding. And so I think that just reinforced to me that it's not enough to pledge. You have to pay attention to where the needs are and to when you can increase your pledge or when you can give a little more to one program or another. And um, that's, that's where I'm coming from at St. James's with my giving right now.